and, and present to others no other than our own yeah. daughter here at the Holy House of Prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let's give you a holy welcome. Because that's what we do here at Holy House of Prayer. Yeah. Hallelujah. We're going to lift them up in the name of yeah. Jesus. And as we come to present you, Reverend Cotton. Amen. The congregation, congregation, Reverend Cotton. Amen. Yeah. Get right with God. Mm -hmm. 
and do it now. Because the time is now. Mm. Yes, Amen. We thank God. You know, God's word don't always have to come from a preacher. All right. God can use any of his children he used to, dump the to bring forth right. what needs to be brought Amen. forth. Amen. Amen. And I, I thank the Lord, you know. That's it. Glory to God. I, I heard church boy, forgive me, a church man, a brother Elvis, Minister Elvis. You got so many names. <laughs> Minister Ever. Amen. I heard him was talking about how you feel love. Yes. You know, it, 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 that, that's, I, I, I'm, yes. I'm talking now because anybody know me, I can't do nothing on my own. So I always that's talk right. till my help comes. That's right. But, 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 but like he was saying about uh, uh, coming in and feeling love. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a blessing. Do yes. you know that? Yes. That's a blessing. Because yes. cause so many churches you come into. You don't feel it. That's right. It's cold. That's right. That's right. It, it's cold. And I don't mean cold with the temperature. No, no. I just mean it's just pure deep out cold. Yes, it. Amen. But that's yet. True. You can feel that. Love. Yet they are jumping and they're shouting. Yes, it. But there are coldness in that church. But when love come in, yes. Yes, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. It makes you act right. You can feel it. Amen. You don't have to tell nobody. You can just look at them and feel that All love. Right. And that's how God wants us to be today. Amen. We need to be love in our heart. A building with love. Amen. Because so many out there today is looking for love. Amen. Amen. And, and, and they're heading down the wrong path trying to find it. Yes, yes. But if we the children of God, uh -huh. the house of God. Yeah. If we have that love, then we're able to tell somebody, you change your ways. Yeah. All right. Change your ways because it's love that's going to get you through. Okay. And I, 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 I didn't mean to be talking about that, but y'all may touch my heart and kind of stir me up this morning. Okay. Amen. Because I thank God because one day, <laughs> he had to work on this old heart of mine. And I, I, I had to find love. I mean, real love. You know, people say, I love you, but don't love you. But I had to find real love that when I speak it, uh -huh. you can feel it. All right. Okay. That's the kind of love that I had to find in my heart. And you can only get that through the Holy Ghost. All right, now. That's, that's the only way you can get it through the Holy Ghost. Because Bishop Keith saying, what's in you going to come out? That's the truth. So if you're yeah. giving a pretend love, you go, they're going to feel it. <laughs> but it's yeah. real. Oh, oh, it's all right to God. Uh, if it, it's real, like he said, when you walk in the door, you're going to feel it. Because right. love is going to bounce off of me unto you. Yes. Thank God, love. I heard a uh, 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 rap said, the agape love. Yes. Amen. The kind of love that God wants us to be. Yes, the kind of love that he had for yes. you and for uh -huh. me. Yes, okay? Because he gave all that he had. Yes. And that was his only son yes. to come and die for me and you. Yes. So everything started with love. Yes. So in order to make it in, you got to have love. Yes. You got to have it. Yes. Amen. I, 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 I was through the week. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I was saying uh, 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 what I was going to talk about. I had a couple of things, but God brought one to light more. Mm -hmm. And I went to the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. The 38th chapter. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Hmm. I sung a song that <laughs> prayer changes things. All right. That if you trust <laughs> and never doubt, Hallelujah. prayer yes, will know. change things. Yeah. And as that song came to me, I thought about my brother Hezekiah. All right now. And that's where Isaiah 38 is going to talk about. Just bear with me just a little bit. Isaiah, thank you, Jesus, 38. And we're going to read probably from 1 through 5. Uh -huh. And it says, 
somebody said amen. 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 Man, he said, in those days, excuse me, D, you need a Bible. You were deacon. Hezekiah is sick unto death. My Lord. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Deacon trying to. You got it? You got it? Okay. In those days, I'm going to go ahead. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, Set thine house in order. For thou shalt die and not live. <laughs> then Hezekiah turned, my Lord, his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord and said, Remember now, O Lord, uh -huh. I beseech thee how I walk before thee in truth and a perfect heart. And have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept <laughs> sore. Yes. Then came the word of the Lord unto Isaiah, saying, Go. <laughs> Turn around and go back. Uh -huh. Go and said unto Hezekiah, Thus said the Lord, the God of David, thy father. I have heard thy prayer. My Lord, yeah. I have seen thy tears. Mm -hmm. mm. Behold, <coughs> I will add unto thy days fifteen years. Yeah. He said in verse 4, mm -hmm. I have heard thy prayer, mm -hmm. and I have seen thy tears. Yeah. Get it together. For you 
<laughs> She'll surely die and not live. My God, my God. But Hezekiah knew that prayer uh, would change things. Uh, and according to the word, Hezekiah turned uh, his face uh, to the wall uh, and he prayed uh, and he raved uh, and he
and they prayed for me. You may not realize it, but we came over yes. on their prayer. Amen. We made it through. Hallelujah. We made it through yes, we did. on their prayer. See, I was a part of some of that thing in South Carolina. I couldn't think of the word I was trying to say, but it's prejudice in South Carolina. I wasn't in the deep part of it with the whipping and all that stuff. But I came up to the part where you had to go to the back door. I came up to the part where they had the white drape and they had the black drape. I, 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 glory to God. I came up to the part where the black was set here and the white was set here. You see, I, I'm one of those that had to take care of the white lady's baby. Amen. While she was out there doing whatever she had to do, which was nothing. Amen. I was in the house cooking for her family. So they ate my meal. But prayer changed change things. Change things. I prayed because I didn't want my daughter, my granddaughters, to come up doing what I did. All right. And I thank God, my daughter, glory to God, I look at her and I shake my head. She's sitting there talking about getting a maid to come in once a week. Prayer changed things. Yes, Lord. Prayer changed things. I thank God today. Thank God today my granddaughter go to wherever she wants to go to in school, in college. God is so good. God is so merciful. God is so, so, so kind. He's brought us from a mighty long But it was prayer that brought us through. Amen. You have trouble in your household. You don't know what to do. Seem like the devil's in there tearing up every single thing. But you can't tell me that you don't go and whisper a secret word of prayer. You can't tell me that you don't go silent and say, Lord, 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 Lord. Sometimes we can't get the word out. All we can say is Jesus. Uh -huh. Lord, whatever. But prayer changes things. See, when he taught the disciples, he didn't tell them to use all these big words. He taught them to say, Our Father, which art in heaven. That's the prayer that he taught them. But I know for myself that prayer changed things. It brought me from a mighty low place. It's keeping me today. When others desire to see me down or try to put me down. <laughs> Somebody said that I, 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 I think it was my angel. I'll rise again. Yes, I'll rise again, my angel. I will rise again. Because you can't keep a child of God down. You may knock me down. You can't get better. You said, what, what, what is that? A, uh, is that a jack in the box or, 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 or something? When you, you hit it and it bounced down that way to spring up? You know what I'm talking about? That was a bag. Uh, yeah. yeah. You hit it yeah. and it fall down and bounce back up. Yeah. You hit it, uh -huh. fall down, bounce right back up. All right. Huh. That's how a child of God is. All right. You hit it, uh -huh. you fall down your back back up. That's right. You're right back up. That's right. I know that's right. You're right oh, back yeah. up. I know that's right. And then they wonder, well, how, how, how can that be? I mean, I, 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 I hit them, as they, as they said, I hit them with my best uh, shot. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 ah, ah. Hey. But they didn't realize. Their arm was too short to box the dog. They had to realize that prayer changes things. You, you, you can't keep a child of God down. All right. Especially a praying child of God. We may fall and shed a couple of tears. Uh -huh. But we get up. Uh -huh. And one of your brothers or sister probably is going to hang you to. But prayer changes change things. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. However, they desire to see you fall. That's what they want. That's what they want to see you fall. But the God. That I serve. The God that you serve. 
He will pick you up. Oh, nice. Turn you yes, around. Yes, he will. Put your feet. Uh-huh. I'm kind of sorry, right? I'm here to tell you. God ain't no play toy. And his children are no play toy. I'm a branch off of that tree. You better believe it. I'm a branch from that tree. And if my tree is firm, <coughs> my branch somehow is going to hold on. Have you ever seen a tree when they say it's right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. And, and, and the tree falls, and there's a, a limb that falls from the tree. But if you look, a piece of bark, if anybody know what a bark is? Okay. A piece of bark is attached to, still attached to that tree. <laughs> Have you ever seen what I, you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. The tree has fell down and it's uh -huh. going to be rotted and no yes. good. But that limb, that piece of bark is still attached to okay. that tree. Uh -huh. And that tree root is still planted firmly in the ground. Uh -huh. So that bark will still turn green and that tree is still going to bud. That's how God is. That's God. We are his branches. And we're going to not be knocked down sometimes. Right. But something going to hold on. Right. You hear what I say? Something is going to keep attached to it. If you are a true child of God. And old song said, ain't no grave going to hold my body down. Because when the first trumpet sounds, I'm going to get up out of the ground. Mm -hmm. But if you're not still attached to that tree, you're not going nowhere. You're going to lay right there. But when you got some juice inside of you still, you'll be able to mount up and meet in the air. Pray much for me. Amen. And I want you to remember that. Oh, prayer, prayer changes things. Change.